I am often asked what is the difference between a Sheltie and a Rough Collie. Anyone who has had both of these breeds will tell you there are a great many differences between them. They are both herding dogs and both come from Scotland. We are going to go over the differences in the following categories. Size, Difficulty, Personality, Pros, Cons, Grooming, Aggression, Compatibility, and Health. Size is the most noticeable difference between a Sheltie and a Rough Collie. Obviously, a Sheltie is much smaller, on average weighing between 15 and 25 pounds. Rough Collies weigh between 45 to 65 pounds, on average. Females of both breeds tend to be smaller than their male counterparts. Difficulty. How much effort and engagement will each dog require? On a scale of 1 to 10, a Sheltie would be an 8. They require a lot of attention and are highly intelligent. This is not a laid-back dog, but a very intense and eager-to-please dog. We will give a Rough Collie a 6 out of 10. Very laid-back, but have some strong personality traits. They like to laze around the house, but when they get going and wound up, the barking can go on for some time. Personality. Both are very loving and devoted dogs. Shelties can best be described as independent. Our Sheltie is like a shadow following us from room to room. Our Sheltie always feels like it is on duty and has a job to do. For most of the night, she does not like to sleep with the humans, but likes to protect the front door. Rough Collies are more aloof and less concerned about you. They love to be involved in every human activity, but in the end, the Rough Collie is out for themselves. They love running in the park, but are quite happy to laze around the house. Pros. Both breeds are extremely loyal and connected to their owners. As they are both herding dogs, they will stay with you by your side. They have been bred to work on the farm and work and interact with humans. One big pro for a Sheltie is the size if you live in an apartment. Very, very intelligent and so easy to train and understand what you want. Rough Collies are incredibly stunning when they are groomed properly. You'll meet lots of strangers who remember Lassie dogs. Generally, they are laid back and happy to sit on the couch with you. Cons. Overall, they are both wonderful dogs. For some owners, the following items could be an issue. Shelties are very intense and seem to have a hard time relaxing. They need to get a lot of exercise as they are bred to work on a farm herding sheep. As they are so intelligent, they can learn how to manipulate people and get what they want. If they are determined to get something they want, they will not stop trying. Rough Collies are independent in a lazy sort of way. They can be slow to respond to commands and tend to be independent and want to do things their way. They assume the rest of the world should have the same priorities and lack of urgency as a Rough Collie. Grooming Grooming is intensive for both breeds as they both have a double coat. For grooming, I would give the Sheltie a 7 out of 10. Lots and lots of grooming. The smaller size makes it more manageable just due to the less fur. The Rough Collie, I would say, is 9 out of 10. Fur and lots of it. When they go to a dog park, that fur picks up a lot of weeds and small branches. The size of the Rough Collie just means there is physically more fur. Our Rough Collie sheds way more than our Sheltie during the course of a year. The fur is longer and tends to be more difficult to clean up with a vacuum cleaner. Change. Who is more willing to adapt? Sheltie is definitely very, very devoted to the routine and stubborn to change. Having said that, a Sheltie on a road trip is much better. They learn to make the best of any situation, but very stubborn to change at all. Rough Collies are more indifferent to change and have a relaxed nature about breaking the routine. They are worse on a road trip and complain and cry when they are not happy with any situation that does not meet their needs. Aggression. Both are not aggressive, but they vary slightly in how they handle things. If my Sheltie does not like the way another dog is interacting with other dogs, she will give them a warning nip. Not to be aggressive, but as a warning to leave me alone. Rough Collies are definitely non-aggressive and will avoid conflict. In three years, my dog has never given a warning to another dog, but instead walks away from the situation they do not like. Compatibility. As they are both herding dogs, they do have many of the same traits. They are both very, very loyal and will stick by their owners. It took some time at the start, but after the first year, they became very, very devoted to each other, and even more so as time goes on. Our Sheltie is the alpha dog, despite being smaller. Big personality in a small package. Generally, personality of most Shelties, they would tend to dominate and would be the alpha dog of a Rough Collie. As a Rough Collies are relaxed, and they are content not being the alpha dog. Despite double or triple the weight of a Sheltie, they do not use their size, assert dominance. Health. Both breeds are very healthy. Both breeds can get collie eye anomaly. This will most likely appear before the second year. There is no treatment for collie eye anomaly, which will eventually lead to blindness. Make sure your breeder tests for this. Shelties have four times the chance of getting bladder cancer of other dogs. Rough collies, like all medium and large dogs, are prone to hip dysplasia. Shelties can also get hip dysplasia, but this is usually due to an overweight condition. In summary, 
Both dogs are very, very similar, but as you can see, they have many different characteristics. Shelties have a completely different breeding background from Rough Collies. Besides looking the same, they are unique dogs with unique personalities and unique histories. Remember, every dog will be slightly different. Thanks for watching, and let us know if you should have any questions at all. Be sure to watch many of the other great videos about Shelties and Rough Collies on YouTube for a better understanding of the breed. I'm off mass. What is the difference between a Sheltie and a Rough Collie? Anyone who has had both of these breeds will tell you there are great...